cupcake, I think you missed the word under in underwear because I can see your bra and that slingshot you're wearing under your pants. John Ritter was best known for being a beloved American actor, cherished by fans and fellow actors alike. Today we're delving into the life and legacy of John Ritter and exploring the homes that played a part in his extraordinary journey. John Ritter's remarkable career left a mark on the world of entertainment, both artistically and financially. At the time of his passing in 2003, his estimated net worth was an impressive $20 million, which shows how his talents paid off. As one of the highest paid TV actors of his time, Ritter's charisma and impeccable timing on Three's Company saw his salary reach an astonishing $150,000 per episode during the show's later seasons. The show became iconic and brought him a Primetime Emmy Award and a Golden Globe. His role as the goofy but lovable Jack Tripper endeared him to audiences, reflecting not only his comedic brilliance but also his physical comedy skills, which made this show a phenomenon. Born on September 17, 1948 in Burbank, California, John Ritter's Hollywood lineage was ingrained in his DNA. The son of legendary country music singer Tex Ritter and actress Dorothy Fay, his destiny seemed set up for show business. His early acting roles included guest appearances on TV shows like Hawaii Five-O and The Mary Tyler Moore Show, and his film debut in The Barefoot Executive marked the beginning of his journey to stardom. Man gives into temptation freely enough without any help from me. Thank you very much. Three's company was Ritter's breakout, but he refused to be typecast. He ventured into comedy and drama, starring in Hooperman, and later expanding his film career with roles in Sling Blade, Bad Santa, and more. It's interesting because in a, it's like doing a one-act play every week. So we have to answer to the audience. You know, we we have to learn our lines and. And it's always been an ensemble effort, so right. we all like get together and it's it's the um now, let's take a trip down memory lane as we take you on a journey through the homes that were once home to the beloved American actor. Each of John's homes bears a unique story, reflecting the chapters in his life and career. First off, Beverly Hills. This home, originally built in 1982, boasts five bedrooms and seven baths, reflecting the classic lifestyle that Bev Hills is renowned for. The Ritter family spent many happy years in Benedict Canyon in their compound, which they bought in 1996 for about $2.2 million. They lived there together, raising their daughter, Stella Dorothy, until John's untimely death in 2003. Situated on a sprawling half-acre property behind a double gate, this 6,400 square foot house was a symphony of connecting to the outdoors. French doors, soaring cove ceilings, and a sweeping staircase under an elegant chandelier greet you right as you enter. The cozy artist studio or yoga retreat up in the attic, illuminated by skylights offers a peaceful escape. One of the most impressive rooms in the house is the stately office, characterized by coffered walnut ceilings, wood panels, and a grand fireplace. The master suite includes a sitting area, a fireplace, his and hers bathrooms, walk-in closets, all of which show off Beverly Hills luxury. Additional features like a sauna and ensuite guest room with potential for conversion into a fitness center make this mansion a gem. Surrounded by gardens, lawns, patios, and a refreshing pool, this Beverly Hills mansion showcases the joy and love shared between John Ritter and Amy Yazbek. His wife Amy sold their Beverly Hills mansion for $6.55 million after hitting the markets on August 2017. I'm actually going over a tiny little bump that my 11-year-old son caught air on, and I, I thought I could keep up with him, and I, I failed miserably. Oh my god. There was a sound like this. Ow! No, coming from my leg. Now, for another one of John Ritter's homes nestled in the heart of Sherman Oaks. He and his wife Amy found solace in a charming residence, this one built in 1988. This one level, 1,800 square foot haven was timeless in style. As you walk through the iron gated driveway, you're surrounded by lush greenery and mature trees. The interior features hardwood floors and recessed lighting, setting the stage for a warm and inviting atmosphere. The living room boasts built in shelves and the cozy eating kitchen offers a breakfast alcove, stainless viking appliances, granite counters, and a skylight that bathes the space in natural light. New vanities and marble counters were recently installed in the bathrooms, adding a touch of modern luxury. 
Step outside and you'll discover a spacious covered patio and brick-rimmed pool, perfect for outdoor relaxing. There's even a pool house that could serve as an extra bedroom, a games room, or a storage space for outdoor furniture and grilling gear. It was here in this charming Sherman Oaks home where John Ritter's laughter and joy filled the air. The memories created in this delightful residence are cherished by many, reminding us of the warm and humorous spirit that Ritter brought into our lives. This San Fernando Valley home an ideal location south of Ventura Boulevard, just on the other side of the hill from Beverly Hills. And maybe it's just a rental for you. This two bedroom pad is now priced at $7,500 a month. Our final stop takes us to Toluca Lake, where John Ritter's early years were spent in a house with a rich Hollywood history. Built in 1937, this Paul Williams traditional house was not just any ordinary residence. It was once the cherished home of country singer and actor Tex Ritter and the childhood home of John Ritter himself. Over the years, the house has undergone expansion and renovation, growing to 8,400 square feet with six beds and eight baths. From formal living and dining rooms to a bar room, games room, and a kitchen with cozy fireplace, this house offers a glimpse into the history of Hollywood itself. The house also features two master bedroom suites, a gym, a media room, and dual offices, each with its own unique charm. The half-acre gated property also includes a five-car garage, an outdoor kitchen, and a sparkling swimming pool, providing a sanctuary of calm in the heart of Toluca Lake. John Ritter's formative years were nurtured in this very home, and it holds the early history of the Ritter family. As we wrap up this journey through John Ritter's homes, we're reminded of the laughter, love, and cherished memories these houses held. Each home tells a story, reflecting the diverse chapters in the life of an actor, John Ritter. Though he might be gone, his legacy lives on, etched in the walls of these beloved properties as well. But before we go, answer this question for me. What was your favorite role of John Ritter over his career and why? I think I'm from a later generation, so mine was actually on Eight Simple Rules, which was like his last sitcom, I think. But share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an upload. This is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you next time. Bye. From those who knew him first. He made me laugh so hard that I snorted. <laughs>